All right, here she is at nighttime in all of her glory. She's running, running great actually. As you can see, the uh, license plate thing works. If I pull you into the cabin, you got all the essentials. First of all, you got dome lights. Sorry, it's out of focus. You got all your gauges and you got all your push button and whatnots. And uh, what else happens? Let's see what happens tonight. Here you go. And uh, this thing has, we, it must have cleaned something out because listen what, to what happens now when you turn the air on. Yep. The heat blower motor decided to fix itself, so. Nothing wrong with that, so. And the heat works, and it actually works pretty darn well. The Ziggs isn't even, is barely up to operating temperature. And this thing's already blown out nice hot air, so it's always a plus. As you can see, all the stuff works, except for this. It seems that the gear selector thing died. I got the blinker things on, just so that I can use this. Here's the radio. Alright, here we are at the day now. So, we're in the dark blue Jeep, as you can see, because of the color. And it doesn't have AC, but I just have it on a, so that it, uh, hold on, let me turn it off and recirculate. It's, let's see, this is just about 100 degrees in here. <laughs> yeah, it went from like 100 to like 85, but here we go, we're, we have barely any gas. We have more though. We're charging at 14. We're at a good RPM. I'll rev it up for you. Got uh, all the... Yep, there's the brake light. And then you have... Oh, oil pressure is holding for some reason. Uh, thermostat hasn't opened up. It will in a momentarily, probably. Uh, all the stuff works, you know. All the power windows work. Oh, I guess that regulator is good. And then you have the one over here. Alright, and then you have the power window over here. And everything seems to work just fine from what I can tell. And then, oh yeah, here. I fixed this, so now it sprays, uh, washer fluid in the right places. Uh, oh, God, I have the heat on. That's why it's so hot in here. It was blazing in here. You know, you got the windshield wipers, which work just fine. Oh, here. I don't think anybody's seen this thing with the... Here, I'll turn on the high beams. Here we are. Just a little bit of a uh, exhaust leak, that's nothing. Oh yeah, this thing's running too. And there's a little bit of a mess back here. From what you could probably tell. Not too big though. Just, I'm gonna get back in the car because there's a lot of noise in here. Whew. I actually cooled down a little bit in here. Here, let me turn this off. Here, I'll demonstrate the, uh... I'll go forward a little bit, if you don't mind. I don't know why it's wet here. Maybe I touched something wet. There we go. I'm moving forward. And, uh... AC actually decided to get a lot colder, and it's now to 80 degrees, but I'm sure that'll change soon. 
Here, I'll extend the idle up a little bit just to keep the... Oh, I guess the thermostat opened up. I'll boost the RPMs up a little bit. Uh, let's see. We're still blowing at just about 80 degrees. And I think all the... I think all the the door locks work actually let's see hey they do work oh, I guess they decided not to work anymore they were working literally just now but I guess they decided not to work again is it possible to lock your keys in the car while it's running anyways oh I guess I can move this thing a little back actually here I'll adjust the mirror for you guys. Here. Move her back a little bit. Press down the brake. moved and oh yeah and the AC decided to get even more cold than it already is so that's good I'll turn that off for now there you go